All right, I've been getting requests to do more of these, so here we go. Uh, the grappling, the takedown defense from O'Malley was impressive, but I'm not a grappler. I'm going to let somebody else do the breakdown on that. I'm going to start right about here. Now, you'll notice that when Sean disengages from the clinch, he's looking to circle out, and you want to circle away from your opponent's power hand. And we can see that Sean bites on the jab faint and slips inside. Sterling looks for the straight hand cross, but Sean just barely gets out of the way of it, moves out into the open space. Now, Sterling was in southpaw when they broke off the cage. Notice that they're trying to go opposite from each other the entire time, and Sean O'Malley matches it with a southpaw stance to keep the lead legs matching. And when your stances are opposite, it's a lead foot battle. And you'll notice they're going to both simultaneously switch on this one again as Sean starts to circle away from the power hand of Sterling. They both want the opposite stance battle. They both want to battle for the lead foot and the lead hand. You see that O'Malley will immediately reach for control of the lead hand as soon as the stances are matched. Now in southpaw versus orthodox stance, the rear leg teep kick to the liver is what is available. And that's what Sean was throwing anytime they matched up their stances this whole fight. Sterling's going to look to catch the kick, but also answer back so that he can try to deter Sean from throwing them anymore. He wants to answer quickly while Sean's out of position. Sean O'Malley recognizes that and in that instance, they're going to throw an immediate advance, immediately reaches for the lead hand control once again. Now here we see the footwork battle. Sterling attempts to get the outside foot advantage and step through cross to cover distance and maybe shoot or clinch up against the cage. Sean's going to shuffle step just out of range, leading with his back foot. Sterling's hands come back low. Sean, hip, knee, and shoulder all connected, pivoting, rotating fully into that cross. Sterling is in the middle of his step through, so he doesn't have secure footing. He's out of position. Just a perfectly timed counter by Sean O'Malley. Here, we'll back it up again. You can see it without the subtitles. Stances are matching. Looking to get the outside foot advantage. Both of them switch to try to keep those stances opposite. Sean immediately lead hand control. Drops his hands down low to get him thinking low. Going for that teep to the liver, rear leg teep to the liver. Sterling tries to come back counter, gain that shuffle the lead foot outside, line up that back hand. Sean steps back, parries. Keeps his feet and his stance underneath him, uses footwork to get out of range instead of just leaning. Whereas Sterling did get caught leaning and out of position with his feet. Here we'll see Sterling as Sean reaches for the lead hand control. Sterling actually grabs hold of Sean's lead hand. But Sean was able to recognize that an advance was coming after the teep kick. Step out of range negate the disadvantage with the hand positioning and make up for it with an advantage in the foot positioning and able to avoid the incoming strikes from Sterling on the advance. Turn perfectly, catch him right out of position, hands low, moving forward. So dope. 